I'm David Chu. I'm Megan Piggott. And, and this, this is, is Salty, Salty Jobs. Jobs. I'm Megan Piggott. And I'm David Chu. And we're here today at FHG Marine Engineering, a company started by three young entrepreneurs. Megan and I will be working on this job together. First, she will be going down to the yard, and once she comes back, I will be finishing the job here. So David, I guess I'll see you here in a few hours? See you then. Richard and I are down here at the boat, ready to get our day started. Richard, can you tell me a little bit about what we'll be doing here today? We're going to be doing a top end overhaul on a Caterpillar 3508 engine. And what does that look like? What's the process like on that? Well, we're going to be removing the last cylinder head and then we're going to be doing a bearing inspection. Is this a long process to get through? Usually it takes about four to six weeks to do the service and it happens every 8,000, 16,000 and 22,000 hours. Is being in the marine industry something you always knew you wanted to be doing? No, when I was in high school, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. And then my dad found the Merchant Marine Academy and I started looking into it. And then the football coach came to me and explained all the benefits of going to the academy. And I had no idea what I had signed up for, but 12 years later, I look back at it now and I would do it all over again if I had the chance. So now you're a business owner under the age of 30 and you got to be your own boss. I'd say it worked out pretty well. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it so far. All right, well, let's make our way to the engine room then. All right, let's do it. We got cranking right away, literally, on the bearing inspection by first rotating the engine to be able to reach the connecting rod bearing and remove it. After the part was removed, I measured the piece of plastic gauge needed to fit the width of the bearing. The bearing then went back in its place and I tightened the bolts to crush the piece of plastic and get a measurement of the gap between the bearing and journal. Using the measuring tool, I confirmed that the gap was within range. We couldn't leave the shipyard without removing the cylinder head to bring it back to the shop for David to inspect. He let us do all of the heavy lifting, carrying the 110 pound cylinder head through the yard. I'll thank him for that one later. So now while we wait for Richard and Megan to get back, I will be here with Robert. Robert, what do we be doing today? Today we're going to be inspecting the cylinder head before we send it out to the machine shop for final work. And how did FHG get started? We took our shipboard experience alongside engineering business backgrounds and the three of us decided to start a business in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, where it's the yachting capital of the world. Wow, what a great idea for three millennial entrepreneurs. Well, let's go get ready and help Megan and Richard to unload the cylinder head. Once Richard and Megan arrived at the part, Rob and I got right to work dismantling the cylinder head to perform the inspection. This was a long and tedious process that began with shaking all the testing product spray cans first. Before beginning work on the surface, it's important to clean it. Next, I applied the penetrant and waited 10 minutes to let it soak into any potential cracks. After wiping away the excess penetrant and cleaning the surface again, I finally applied a thin layer of developer that will reveal any cracks on the surface. They had a cracked cylinder head already in the shop, so I was able to compare the two parts side by side. Upon inspection, our cylinder head was in great shape, making my work here done. And that's another salty job complete. I'm Megan Pickett. <laughs> Well, we've got something pretty cool for you today. We're going to be continuing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, while we wait, <laughs> sorry, that's a great blooper right there. <laughs> 